all, I am Megan and welcome to Battle Royale with Cheese, the website where you can get all of your TV and film news, reviews and trailers. Twisters is the sequel to the 1996 film. Daisy Edgar Jones plays a retired meteorologist who is persuaded by her ex to return to her hometown to research the tornadoes that are occurring there at an alarming rate. So I saw this a couple of days ago. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see this on an IMAX screen, which I really wish I had done. There isn't any uh, IMAX screenings local to me, but just because some of the visuals that you get with this film, I really wish I had seen on IMAX. But overall, this was a really fun film. I honestly expected this to be a cheesy sort of switch your brain off kind of film, but I actually found myself really enjoying this actually being quite nervous and scared at some points and yeah this was all around a really fun sequel and it is essentially just a rerun of the original plot i think the term is a standalone sequel so essentially it's a sequel to an older film but you don't have to have seen the original film to watch this one and Twisters is definitely the case. For what this film is, which is essentially people either running from tornadoes or going right up to a tornado at certain points, which was really nerve-wracking, the cast were fine. They were good enough for what they had to do and what the script demanded of them. But what I liked is the, the film gave you these sort of cookie-cutter 90s style characters and then gave them emotional depth and character growth as the film went on, which I really appreciated. So Kate, you really feel for her at the beginning of the film because of what happens literally in the opening scene. Her growth and her overcoming her fears throughout this film was really interesting to see. And she was a very sympathetic character and I, I did feel for her a lot of the times, especially when she returns to her hometown and has to confront her fear for the first time in years and that you definitely felt scared for her. Glenn Powell plays Tyler who is a YouTuber and he calls himself a tornado wrangler and this is probably the most accurate stereotype of an annoying YouTuber I've ever seen. Again at first glance though because as the film goes on he he grows as a character and he also becomes a very interesting character in himself and I grew to like him. I sort of found him a bit annoying at the start but then you do grow to like him as you know you learn more about him and actually you learn that him and Kate have more in common compared to her and her ex-boyfriend Javi who is played by Anthony Ramos. I did feel that as the film went on and I, I feel like this was deliberate as well is that Javi and Kate actually had not as good chemistry on screen compared to Kate and Tyler, which I feel, again, I feel is deliberate because you find out that they actually have a lot more in common. They have very similar backgrounds as the film goes on and you see these characters develop more. But that doesn't mean that Javi is pushed more to the side. All of the characters actually get a lot of equal screen time, which I really appreciated. With the amount of characters and caricatures on the screen, I was expecting some of them to be pushed to the sideline. And actually, they're not. They're all given their own development, their all screen time and time to shine, which I really, really appreciated. But obviously, this is a disaster film, so how was the actual disasters itself? How was the tornadoes? How was the twisters? Uh, terrifying. <laughs> really actually quite nerve-wracking which going into this film I thought this was going to be a type of action film where you would be able to switch your brain off for a couple of hours and there would be sort of silly dialogue and to an extent there is and I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute but actually I found myself feeling very nervous a lot of the time especially during the tornado moments there's a lot of scenes where obviously these guys are tornado chasers so they're going to go right up to a tornado and I found myself a lot of the time either clenching my wrist or I think I definitely think at one point in the third act there was 
a moment where I felt my heart like pounding through my chest. So it did really well to really show you. But yeah, this is a fun, a fun action disaster film. But also tornadoes are threatening and scary. The sound design was fantastic actually. And they really made use of the speakers in the cinema screen to show you that a tornado was looming, how close they were getting. And it a lot of the times it was very, very loud, louder than usual compared to other films and other disaster films. But that made it really effective actually and really sh showed you how threatening these tornadoes can be. So I, I really, really appreciated the, the execution of those scenes, the sound design, the visuals. I thought that was really, really well done. Overall, Twisters was really, really fun, if not very nerve-wracking at times. The cast were good enough for the genre that this is and for what they had to do. And I really grew to like the characters as the film went on, actually. I also like that this feels very 90s, the tone and the dialogue felt like it had been ripped from a 90s disaster or action film. Think Independence Day or, again, the original Twister. It felt very much like this was a sequel stuck in the 90s, which I'm glad about. It, I feel like it needed to be, especially with this being a sequel to a 90s film. It was nice that it actually reflected that aesthetic and tone. So I, there was a lot of things I really appreciated about this film. And yeah, I really recommend it. So what are your thoughts on Twisters? Have you seen Twisters yet? Have you seen the original? What are your thoughts on it? But I was Megan. This is Battle Royale Cheese. See you soon.